everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well and as you can see from the title of today's video, we've got a Poundland haul. So I went to Poundland because I really needed something specific, which I will show you. Um, but as it always tends to happen with me, I walked out of Poundland with quite a lot of things. So I thought to come and show you guys what I picked up, um, so you know what there is in Poundland at the moment as well. Um, they have quite a lot of Christmas items in at the moment, a lot of Christmas decorations, a lot of bits and pieces for Christmas presents. I have done a one pound stocking fillers ideas, which I picked up stuff from Poundland, which I will leave down below guys, if you want to go and check it out. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll show you what I picked up. So the first thing I picked up, starting with something yummy, um, Again, if you haven't seen my one pound stocking fillers ideas, I featured this item on there as well. And it's this. So these are gingerbread, soft gingerbread shaped like pretzels. I kept going on on my previous video that these were pretzels. They're not pretzels, they're shaped like pretzels. Um, but it was the only vegan alternative that I could find to chocolate to feature in my previous video. And then after the video, I've tried them and let me tell you, they're delicious. So I ended up picking no one, not two, but three boxes. I mean, insane. I'll probably end up eating the whole lot tonight, but I really need to show you. Look at this. How cute are these? They've got little pretzel shaped, heart shaped, a little star shaped, and they're so delicious. Mm. Oh my god, it's just so yummy. If you know anyone who is vegan in your family or in your friends, or if you're vegan yourself, please go and check these out because they are delicious. Now, keeping on with the theme of food, I saw these up, which it doesn't say in English what they are. Hmm. Well, these look like biscuits with um, cinnamon flavored, which I love anything cinnamon this time of the year. So I picked some of these up to try out. Now, moving on to something a little bit more exciting and Christmassy. I mean, what's more exciting than food? But moving on to something a bit more Christmassy, I picked up some Christmas twine. If you're anything like me, I love to have twine in my present wrapping decorations box. Is that a thing? I don't know. I mean, I've got a massive box with Christmas wrapping paper, well, with lots of different wrapping papers, basically, ribbons, twine, and just all good things that you'll need to wrap presents really prettily. Um, so I thought to pick up some more twine, it's only a pound, you get three of them. There is one in red and white, and then just two natural colored ones, and I thought you can't go wrong with that. Oh, it's also 10 meters long. <laughs> then I picked up some Christmas cards. I mean, you cannot have Christmas without getting some Christmas cards. I love receiving cards, if anyone is wondering. I also love giving cards. Um, so again, these were a pound. Uh, it's a pack of 15 and they come in three different designs. So I'm gonna try and show you. So the three different designs are this one, then this one, which I think this is my favorite one. And then uh, this one, which is just plain. And it says Merry Christmas on the bottom. How cute are these? I mean, I can't wait to give them a Christmas to special people. Then I picked up some sticky labels. Um, again, you cannot go through Christmas without getting some sticky labels. I tend to use um, like normal labels with the ribbon at the end that you tie them on, but I really like to have some sticky ones on hand and I like to use this usually in presents that go inside a stocking. I mean, I know you usually give a stocking to a specific person and all the presents in there are for them, but you know, sometimes when you have big presents that are not like main presents to go under the tree, and they are stocking fillers, but they're big enough that they cannot fit into a stocking filler, so they have to go under the tree. Does that make sense? Um, I like to use sticky labels, basically, uh, to label them. <laughs> um, you get 100 of them, 
Again, you can't go wrong. And how pretty is this design? I really like this rustic green and red and white design that they've got going on. Um, Poundland do have a lot of different like themes every single year. I think they always have like a silver one, a gold one, a more rustic one, and more of like a modern navy blue one. Then I picked up some uh, gift wrap tissue paper. So I really like to use this when I'm gifting like an item of clothing or a scarf. I like to wrap it in tissue paper first and then wrap it properly with wrapping paper. I just think it holds the present together better. I didn't have any around out last year so I thought I'll pick some up so I can put them in my Christmas wrapping presents box set I don't even know what I'm on about then a couple of homey things I picked up oh no before moving on to homey things I picked up these um set of bubble lights so these they're not oh no it came off one moment we go <laughs> so i picked this set of um bubble lights and these are like fairy lights but they've got bubbles at the end if you guys can see and i can use this either at the back of my videos or on the christmas tree i thought they will look a bit different than normal fairy lights then i picked up some uh, zoflora so you cannot go to poundland and know by yourself some zoflora so this is in the honeysuckle and jasmine and for any of you guys that don't know what the flora is it's basically a really concentrated disinfectant so you can dilute it down um and it just makes your house or any room you put it in smell amazing oh 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 this is really nice i've never tried this scent before it smells really really good but yeah, so I got myself some Zoflora. Then another thing I saw, which I've never seen before, is something called Fabulosa. Now, I don't know if this is like a knockoff brand to Zoflora, um, but it says that it does exactly the same thing as Zoflora, but this comes in a bigger package. So this is 120 mils, whereas this is 220, so almost double the size. Um, but it's in the winter fig scent. Have a look. Oh, this smells really nice as well. It's not as strong as the flora, but it's a really nice, mild scent. Um, I, I just think this will make the room again smell really, really nice. Then, let me see what I'll show you. Oh, so I picked these uh, microfiber cleaning cloths, which I'm super excited to use. So is my dog, because as soon as I took them out of the bag, uh, she thought that these were a toy. So yeah, I know what I'm getting her in her stocking this year. <laughs> um, but let me just open them up. But yeah, these are a set of four um, microfiber cloths. I just needed some for my kitchen. And these are so easy to use, easy to wash. You just wipe surfaces, chuck them in the washing machine. They come out sparkling clean so that you can reuse them again. So that's a must. Then I picked up some food and freezer bags. If you're anything like me, when winter comes around, guys, I just want to get comfy and cozy and I don't want to have to cook loads. So what I tend to do during winter, I batch cook during the weekend and then I freeze some food. So I thought getting some freezer bags, I was running low, so getting some freezer bags was a must. Now for the final thing, that has made this whole happen is the thing I went to Poundland for in the first place. It's the exciting antibacterial wipes. Ooh, yay! Um, but I ran out of antibacterial wipes a few weeks ago now and I was just lazy. I just never picked them up. So I thought, you know what? I'll go to Poundland and pick some up. It's only going to cost me a pound. I'm going to be in and out in no time. But no, 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 no. I had to pick up all these other things this is in the apple and apricot scent and they smell so so good um but yeah you cannot not have antibacterial wipes in your house it just makes cleaning so much easier but yeah these are all the items i picked up guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and let me know are you anything like me guys do you go to a shop uh, thinking that you're only going to buy one item and then you walk out 10 items 20 items 100 items later uh, but i would like to know make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i will see you next time
Bye. Mmm, so good.